Hey guys, um, this is Cami from Essential Appeal Blog, and today I wanted to talk about something that's a little difficult for me to admit. Um, I recently I picked up a book that is already changing my life for the better. Um, it's Intuitive Eating, and basically. I am already pretty shocked. I I haven't even I'm not even done with it. I'm done. I'd only finished reading like the first two principles of it. But um something that really shocked me is the fact that I thought I was being healthy and I didn't really understand why I was I kept yo-yoing. I'm I'm yo-yoing like crazy like I'll lose 5 pounds like in 2 weeks. And then all of a sudden I'll just won't be able to control myself and I'll gain it back and more. And this has been going on for years. It's like 5 pounds, 10 pounds, 15 pounds. I'm currently about, I have about I think 15 pounds to lose. That that would be um, my ideal weight that wouldn't be uh, too low or anything. Um, I'm not even gonna, whatever. Anyway. Um, so the thing that really shocked me is I thought I was being healthy. I didn't, I wasn't doing any diets for the past year now, um, and I didn't really understand why this was happening. Like, I thought I rejected the diet mentality, like how, uh, they talk in the book, you should, you need to just put losing weight in the back burner, you need to reject the diet mentality because dieting is what actually makes you, your body revolt and that's what makes you yo-yo and it's just the whole, the whole thing of restricting and obsessing over food it's all of that is what causes all the negative things that I've been experiencing and I didn't it, even though all the stuff that I was doing to myself like counting calories counting carbs uh, protein um, intermittent fasting that I did twice that I'm not gonna do again um, it's a different story and just all kinds of things and just just basically restricting and it'll always end in a binge every single time if not right away it would happen eventually and it's just it's very sad but that's the more I restricted the more I was obsessing over certain facts about food the more my body wanted to revolt and the more I the more I felt out of control and the more I just felt like I wanted to give up so that's pretty much where I'm at right now. I, I just, I can't do this anymore. I, I can't keep doing this. I feel like I'm treating my ba body really badly by doing this, um, not allowing it to eat what it wants to eat. Not, not, I don't even know what my innate hunger feelings are. I don't really, my body is all out of whack. I'm not in tune with my body and it's very sad. and. So I'm, I'm sick of it. I don't want to die anymore. I truly, I didn't even understand that. I, I didn't really realize that all the counting and stuff and just obsessing and just cutting back, that's still dieting. Like, just because it doesn't have a name, like Dunkin' Diet or whatever those diets are called. I didn't do those, by the way. I, I did, like, some other ones. Um, just because it doesn't, have a di it doesn't have a name doesn't mean it's not a diet. It's a pseudo diet, and you're still in the diet mentality. You're still watching what you're eating and sure like I think you should eat healthy and you shouldn't eat like junk food and stuff but um just the fact that you're obsessing over it and restricting it's a diet mentality and that's just that's that's what it is and that's what's been holding me back from a lot of stuff I feel like I haven't been living my life the way I want to live my life has been very controlled by food it has been um my thoughts are controlled by it. I am not as social as I should be. I spend a lot of time by myself because I don't want to be out and like around all the food and because I'm afraid that you know I'm not gonna I'm gonna eat too much and then I know that's gonna make me want to eat more and then it's just a whole cycle that is not working and the reason why I always keep going back to wanting to lose weight I just want to lose weight I just want, I'm not I'm not I know I'm not like super overweight or anything I'm just like. I'm still like in the normal range, but I'm not comfortable with myself at all. And the fact that 
I work in the nightlife industry. I'm a photographer at um, different clubs and bars, and I'm surrounded by beautiful, skinny women and guys that are into that. So it's kind of hard to compare myself to that. I try not to compare myself to that. I really do. I really truly try not to. But it's really hard not to when you see guys swooning all over all these skinny women with you know thick tits and all that, and I, I can't compare, and I just can't, and it. You know, it brings me back to, you know, wanting to restrict myself again. I just want to be loved. Like, I just want guys to look at me like that. I just want, I want to be able to find the guy that I want to be with. I don't want to have to settle on someone just because they're like, oh, I guess, you know, he likes the thick girls, so I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to find anywhere else. That's that's my mentality, and that's, that's sad. That's bad. So that's why I'm like withdrawn a little bit I just don't I'm not putting myself out there as much as I should and it like the loneliness and like boredom and it all it all contributes to these negative feelings and like I subscribe to all these magazines all this shit and it's like lose this much weight sexy abs dream body yeah I I can't do this I just I can't so I'm I'm really committing to intuitive eating I I'm saying fuck it, I'm sorry, but I'm just being blunt. I'm throwing all this shit out. I'm not gonna, I'm, I can't do this. I can't look at all these magazines anymore and just keep being bombarded with all the ideals. I just want to learn to be in tune with myself. I just want to stop obsessing over my body. I want to build my self-esteem, my body image. Um, my, I want to really improve my relationship with food and I don't want to look at food as bad and good. I just want to like living that's really what it comes down to so abso abso I'm abso unsubscribing from a lot of people that are all about weight loss and diets and you know how can you lose most fat Ooh, so fast and crazy workout routines I'm sorry people I unsubscribed for all those emails yesterday I'm serious unsubscribe from those blogs that are very in the bad mentality I, I had to um, throwing all this out I I have some diet pills I'm throwing that out too and I'm just gonna I'm really ta taking my time and I'm really I'm really committing to intuitive eating so I wanted to just let you know that this is a no bullshit video and that you're probably not gonna see anything else about weight loss and if you do please send me an email and be like what the fuck bitch what you're preaching all this all this stuff and you're not even you know like what are you doing please do this because i'm gonna need it and i really hope that i won't talk about this i really just want to focus on building my self-esteem my body image my relationship with food i just i just want to live i just want to have a good life and yeah sorry this video is super long but i just needed to i needed to say that so thanks for listening